how cute is this? Oh god, this is adorable, isn't it? I'm such a sucker for like plushies and stuffed animals. my channel so this is part two of the chanel 21k collection yes chanel autumn winter act two um and is this not the nicest backdrop ever <laughs> so harris is right behind me we are gonna get in now and hopefully get a lot more eye candy if you haven't seen part one yet please go and check it out we got so much so much amazing eye candy in part one i can't wait to see though what we find today i'm still really heartbroken that the beautiful classic club in the rainbow color got cool back because they had some you know quality issues so can anybody explain to me what's with the fur bags this season they're everywhere <laughs> um, I wish they would have that classic lab and beautiful rainbow colors however you know maybe they can still fix the issue and you know they're still gonna come out in a couple of weeks who knows yeah guys I'm just on the way to Chanel and I walked past Dolce & Gabbana and what is this <laughs> can you see how the light reflects on it that is wild okay Let's see what we find today. Gucci, anybody else who thinks that Gucci has become a little bit, like a teeny tiny little bit boring recently? Like when Alexandro Michele first started, I absolutely loved the designs he came out with. It was so special and stunning. And this is, it's pretty, it's nice, but it's not boom anymore, right? Again, yeah, I absolutely love Fendi. Fendi is killing it this season with their designs, their colors. I would wear this immediately. I mean, look at this. Oh, actually, look, I know we talked about the Fendi First Clutch recently. This is the Python version. How gorgeous is this? It's stunning, right? Yep, really nice. And oh my god, black crocodile. Black shiny crocodile with gold hardware. Yeah, that is gorgeous. And I mean, Fendi's killing it with most of their designs. I would immediately wear this outfit. It's absolutely, it's perfection if you ask me. However, what's happening here? <laughs> Can anybody tell me? Is this a scarf that she's wearing as a dress? Or as a, as a top, basically, with a, with a belt? Nope, that's not my style. This is Prada. This is Sequence Next Level. If you ask me, I mean, we see sequins on bags everywhere. Every fashion house is doing it at the moment. This is next level, isn't it? Dior, anything that catches our eye? Not really. Um, this book too, is interesting. This looks like, you know, it already looks used. It looks pre-loved, even though it's completely new, of course. But I actually love the effect of the leather. And this is a new bag. I think we've seen it only once on Selfridges. Um, but yeah, is this our style? It's not really my style, unfortunately. Okay, so what do we think about this red velvet coat and the red velvet, the matching Lady Dior basically that goes with it and it gets even better. Does this not remind us of the Joker? <laughs> Definitely reminds me of the Joker. A green velvet coat? That is something different. This is quite an interesting Chanel jacket, isn't it? I mean... Yeah, my hair would get caught up, <laughs> definitely, in this. I would not be able to wear it, but somebody with a short haircut. Yeah, guys, and this is what Chanel is currently showing on display. This is their new bags. Have a look, I have a feeling that we're gonna get stopped in a second, so let me get as much as I can. Hi, everyone. Okay, this is really pretty as well. I saw that in the window display before. It is gorgeous. Do we like these teddy bear classic flaps? I mean, it's definitely something they can only wear in winter, in autumn and winter. Um, it's not really my thing. They feel incredibly soft and beautiful, but style-wise, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, guys, so actually one of the SAs at Chanel just told me that they're only launching the new Chanel 21K collection on Saturday. So I might have to come back, um, but yeah, I wasn't aware of that. So it seems like only Bond Street, like the flagship store, was releasing the new collection today. So at least I'm happy that we have a part one <laughs> and that I can already show you all the eye candy. Um, but in terms of Paris today here, it seems like, you know, ooh, nice Balmain outfits. Seems like we're not going to get that much new eye candy. Oh my God, here we have it, the sheep 
the she oh it feels so good this reminds me of she of course it's like the Bottega Veneta cheap chain pouch <laughs> It feels so, so nice. Um, I mean, like I said, fur bags are everywhere. This is, of course, very special. I don't even know what kind of fur this is. Um, I love my chain pouch so much. But would I ever consider this? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay, it's fake fur. Oh, that's good. That is amazing. Yeah, because it feels still very, very nice. Really good quality. Yeah. yeah. Can I try this on? Of course. Thank you. Yeah, okay, guys. So the good thing is this is actually not real fur. So thumbs up for that. That is really amazing, right? It feels incredibly soft. It feels like the quality is absolute, like, great. I mean, Bottega's leather, like, is always top of the top anyway. So I feel like even if they would make a bag like this now with fake fur, like, it's amazing quality I absolutely love my pouch my chain pouch but what do we think I mean this is of course the wrong outfit <laughs> like you cannot wear a winter bag like this with a summer dress however like with a beautiful long black coat or something you know even with a cream colored coat or beige coat what do we think I think it's pretty fascinating isn't it <laughs> I don't know what to think it feels like a little sheep on a chain <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm fascinated with this. Yeah, so in terms of sunglasses, you guys know I'm still looking for a new pair of sunglasses because I need prescription sunglasses now. And I feel like this is the hottest brand in terms of sunglasses at the moment, simply because they come out with like such amazing designs. It is absolutely incredible. It's really, really statement pieces. And for me, like my sunglasses always need to be a big, look at this. A big statement piece because um, you know I wear them all the time when I'm outside let, let me show you quickly what else they have um, so yeah it is incredible I feel like I want to try all of these on um, this is definitely my new favorite brand and I'm pretty sure that my next pair of sunglasses will be from Linda Ferro um, also, I've seen like these beautiful, um, what are they called, cat eye, cat eye sunglasses. They're not here at the moment, otherwise I would try them on again. But even this, I feel like this might look really good on me. Okay, I feel like I love these even more than the other cat eye sunglasses that I tried on a couple of weeks back. They are very neat, aren't they? Oh, I love them! I feel like I'm really drawn to this tortoiseshell, no matter what I try on in terms of sunglasses. Oh, let me know what you think. Are they the one? Are they the one finally, maybe? Oh, huh. I think they are really, they're really nice, right? So I feel like I have to see them again from this angle. And I think they are amazing, aren't they? I love them. I think I love them even more than the cat eye ones. They might be the one. Please let me know what you think. Are they better than my current Gucci sunglasses? Because <laughs> they are so old, I don't want to use them for my new prescription. So I feel like I want a new pair of sunglasses. Yeah, so I love this. Wow, okay, I've just seen the most gorgeous dress in the history of dresses, I show you. I absolutely love the, that pair of sunglasses and they only have this one pair here, but I want a new one. And they actually do prescription as well as Linda Ferro, so that's amazing. Can we see that? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in the evening wear section at the moment simply because I wanted to find the Judith Leiber clutches. But wow, I mean, this is a stunning dress, isn't it? I'm speechless. And here we are. Oh, Judith Leiber clutches. I absolutely love coming here. Like, I've seen once this beautiful, let me put my beautiful MS lipstick back down. So. <laughs> I've once seen a beautiful snake clutch from Judith Leiber and that was my absolute favorite. And I think, you know, if I would find something like this again at some point, I would definitely consider adding one of these artworks to my collection. I mean, look at this, how stunning are they? Oh, isn't that absolutely cute? I love it so, so much. Oh, this owl, cutest little owl ever. And they are incredibly expensive. Um, I think they retail for around five to six thousand pounds. Um, the snake python clutch that I've actually wanted was around like two thousand, I think, maybe one six, one seven, if I remember it right. But believe me, it's worth it. Oh, there they have the dress in blue as well. Um, but it's so so worth it. Of course, they do not hold the resale like the resale value is almost nothing. Unfortunately, I think you have to really love these bags to actually make the investment. But yeah, how gorgeous are they? You know, if you want to have something that nobody else has, 
um, I would definitely recommend Judith Leiber. Yeah, so I haven't been at Fendi home, Fendi Casa for a while. So I thought let's have a look because they always have really, really special pieces here in terms of fact that you don't see in the regular boutiques. For example, this one. Have you ever seen that anywhere else, you know? They have like, of course, like a classic Fendi Picaboo as well. Um, but sometimes you find beautifully, beautifully embroidered pieces here. Um, so yeah, let's see what we find. So here we have a yellow Fendi baguette and a white one. That's, I think, the largest size. But I've spotted this last time already. Can you see that up there? That is such a beautiful gold Fendi baguette. Um, I absolutely love this. I've seen it before. Let me open this. Wow. Can you see the color? I think it is gorgeous every time I see it again, you know, because usually I'm not a Fendi Baguette girl But every time I see that one, I'm like, yes, I really like it. Let's see what we have here This is an interesting bag as well. Don't want the beeper to go off. Okay, this is like a Actually, it's like a white denim material and we have this beautiful caramel brown Handle. So the Louis Vuitton boutique um, in Harrods ground floor. It's absolutely my favorite Louis Vuitton boutique. Look at this. It's so so impressive and so stunning. And look at this wall of capucine bags. Um, there are a lot of new like artistic capucines coming out soon. You can already see them online and they look really great. Oh hello. This is my dream. However, I really want the Python handle. I love the gully color. Yeah, this is, I think, the new favorite, right? They discontinued the old one, and this is like their new design of the Louis Vuitton favorite bag. I absolutely love the classic S log, I always say it. I think it's actually quite a simple but beautiful design. Let me know what you think. Um, as you can see, like they're really putting their focus on leather pieces. It's so hard. Just like Lisa said in our last video, it's so hard to find canvas bags in the boutique nowadays. And some crocodile pieces. What do we think about this padded bag? I love the baby pink color. This is the city steamer in crocodile skin. Oh god, how cute! <gasps> how cute is this? Oh god, this is adorable! Isn't it? I'm such a sucker for like plushies and stuffed animals um, oh yeah this is something a lot of um, youtubers actually got recently I've seen it in a lot of unboxings but oh I would pick this it's so cute yeah just to show you what's on display in Harrods um, that's the teeny tiny PM on the go size it's a lot smaller than what I would have thought it is yeah let me know if anything caught your eye okay and now we are at Chanel downstairs but like I said unfortunately all the new collections are only coming in um, on Saturday today is Thursday unfortunately so I can only show you the old pieces however there's always something new to discover isn't it this is gorgeous I don't know when they stop me so let me just spike him like ooh, this is a beautiful chevron Gabriel isn't it so I'm just gonna be like a little spike him and show you everything they currently have. Oh, I love this. I know I've said it several times, but this velvet color, this, this bag in this material in this color, oh, it's absolutely divine, isn't it? I wish I could add it to my collection. Um, yeah, let me know if anything catches your eye. Oh. I wish I had this. This came already out like a year ago. I think I can't believe that they still have some of these. I would I would categorize them as a unicorn, but it seems like the demand is not there for them. Yeah, and some more Chanel eye candy from Chanel on Sloan Street. However, I think it was really only the flagship store that already had the new Chanel collection. I mean, we got a lot of footage, but you have to go back to part one of this video. Um, but of course, there will be many more um, Chanel 19, nine, sorry, Chanel 21K <laughs> um, footage soon. Uh, so I can't wait to see more and I can't wait to figure out if they will actually make the classic flaps in this beautiful rainbow effect. Look at the beautiful golden hour. I absolutely love the light um, at this time of the day. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? What a nice day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
even though we didn't get to see more of Chanel 21K, um, there will be more shopping vlogs all about Chanel soon. I really didn't know that only the flagship store was gonna release their collection today and that, you know, Harris and the other boutiques they would follow um, on Saturday. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little beautiful handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease, yes. And yeah, I see you again very, very soon. Bye.